Welcome to Alpha Cars and Motorcycles. Today, we're taking a close look at this 2011 Mercedes GLK 350 4Matic. This vehicle is very well optioned with over $5,000 in factory installed packages, including the P1 package. This vehicle also has a very clean history with only one owner, and it does have all original paint on its original metal body panels. And for the year, being a 2011, it is relatively low mileage with only 65,000 miles. If you are interested in this GLK 350, it is available at the date of this video posting. Check out all the information on our detailed online listing at alphacars.com. The link to that will be in the top right hand corner of your screen and in the description below. And if you are interested in this GLK, but you're not local to us here in New England, well, just give us a call 978-263-9000 and we can discuss the many shipping options we provide making it a very easy transaction and in the end you'll have a very nice mercedes delivered right to your driveway but now with that out of the way let's take a close look at this glk 350. first let's take a look at the exterior of the glk I'll do a simple walk around so we can get a complete picture of the exterior quality. And then I'll start to point out some uh, specific areas, but we can see overall, it does look really, really nice with a nice deep glossy shine. Now let's take a closer look at areas like the hood and the headlights. The headlight lenses are very clear. As well as the front bumper, it's pretty much imperfection free, only apart from some light pitting here and there uh, from the highway use. Now looking at the front fender here and the passenger side of the vehicle, as we go close to the panel, we'll be able to see if there's any irregularities in the way it reflects the light. So then we can find uh, any sort of dings or imperfections. And actually, if we look right here next to the gas cap, there is one little imperfection right there. You can see it reflects the light a little differently, but there's no paint damage or anything. And honestly, a lot of these things I'm gonna show you, uh, you may not see uh, in person unless someone uh, point th points them out to you. Now let's go down the driver's side of the panel. Light imperfection right there, as we can see. But other than that, uh, very clean. Now let's take a look at the glass. Glass is in very good condition, as well as the roof. We have the very nice sunroof there. The roof rails all appearing great. Looking at the back glass now, there's the rear plate holder and the nice twin exhaust. of uh, The chrome is in great shape as well. And of course, this car isn't without a few imperfections here and there. Let me just show you those really quick. On the edge of the rear bumper, we've got a little scuff there and a little scuff there. On this part of the bumper, we have a minor scuff just right there and right there. The side of the vehicle, it has some light, very light little scratching here and there, as you can see the little lines uh, in the paint. But it's honestly really hard to notice. And with a paint correction, if this vehicle was uh, cut and polished it actually it would clean up really really nice it's just some uh, very very light little scratching and swirls here and there the front bumper does have a little scuff here you can see right there and right there i did not mean to, to misspeak in the beginning saying <laughs> there's no imperfections um, but overall it is really clean very light little scuff right there now let's take a look at the wheels wheels look awesome let's take a look at what the tire condition are. Tires are 60% material remaining front and rear. And there are some very nice Michelins. This vehicle is gonna ride great going down the road and have the excellent uh, tire life as well. And the brakes are at 90% material remaining front and back. If we look in there, we can see the really nice clean rotor surface as, as well as the front rotor here. Now let's look at this side. Once again, front rotor, very clean. Any residual little material there will wear off as the vehicle gets driven. It's been sitting in our lot uh, just a couple days here since it was driven. That wheel looks great. And this wheel looks great. I really don't have any imperfections to report on the wheels. 
overall they look really really nice just with some you know minor residual uh, maybe a little bit of the brake areas where the brake dust was just on the inner barrel there but once again i'm just kind of uh being picky now let's work our way inside of the glk all we have to do is pull the lever there and it pops right open this is a part of that uh, p1 package the premium one is the power lift gate also the panorama sunroof is a part of that as well let's take a look at that from this angle it's an awesome place to be even if you're in the back of the vehicle and the headliner is in great condition as well it's an awesome view back here to uh, view most of it now what do we have here in the cargo area well we have the factory mats let me carefully uh, lay these out so we can take a look at their condition and now with them laid out let's take a look we have a little bit of minor wear there on the driver's mat and a couple little points of wear for the uh, rear passenger mats but overall you know very clean and we're glad that of course we have the mats there and those will take the little bit of wear and not the vehicle carpet itself which we will look at shortly a lot of space back here we've got a little storage compartment here with the net power outlet actually even the uh, house style plug there very handy especially if maybe you go camping or something you want to plug something in to power something blow up an air mattress it's nice to have that there tons of space under here it's all very clean and very good condition if we lift up on the floor here we've got the space saver under there and carefully if i open up this and hold the other divider floor there we can see there is the full toolkit the jack uh, and there's actually the little gloves they give you as well so you don't get your hands dirty if you do have to change a tire so that's all cool to see there and now we have this cool little thing it is the mercedes cargo basket you can see it is official mercedes right there you can see it's pretty much flat and all you do is lift up on each side here and then it opens up let's see i can kind of show you so we can see here how it lifts up and then what you would do then is lift it up and push down the sides they snap into place and then you've got a ton of room right here you can put this on top of your cargo floor of course and put many things in here and not have it be rolling around good way to organize things in the trunk and then when you're done you can see how easily i just push that down stow it away close the floor here that uh, snaps closed and then you're good to go also let's check out all the space we have if we fold down all the seats here very easily i can unlatch those let me show you a bit better and check this out we've got a ton of room now in the back of the glk so very practical vehicle for really really any use uh, you might be looking for whether just a daily commuter family vehicle or vehicle to go do some road trips uh, on the weekends looking at the condition of the plastic panels here and in the jams you can see the uh, seam sealer and the unibody everything's very clean very glossy no corrosion or anything same thing with the edge uh, bottom edge of the hatch here always check uh, this bottom edge of your hatch of the hatch if you're looking at a used vehicle make sure there's no chipping or rust and now with those mats just placed back in there all we have to do is press the button and that power tailgate comes down and it works great very quiet and efficient let's look in the back now i can show you how easy it is to just flip this up and it latches back into place same thing right here there we go now let's look at the condition of the seating surfaces back here it all looks excellent i don't really see much of any wear or imperfections right here we've got a storage compartment and some cup holders which also opens up more storage here for maybe a phone or something i really like uh, how that flips out and then how it all stows away you know when it's not in use carpet condition back here is excellent of course with the uh, lighter color if it wasn't regularly cleaned uh, you definitely you know see that and this really appears to be in excellent condition looking at the door card now a couple light little scuffs here and there 
on the material, but other than that, it is uh, pretty hard to notice. Now looking at the kick panel and the door jam, it all appears great, even it's really clean in there. And same thing, all of these door edges, uh, there's no corrosion or damage or rust or anything like that. Now let's look at the driver's side of the rear. We'll start with the door panel, which looks excellent. And once again, the carpet on this side, it really presents the same as well as the seating surfaces uh, over here. We can take a look at the headliner once again. And everything looks awesome. And check out the view from here of the front seating area. Just a very nice place to be. And we will look a little bit more closely at some of those controls once we get in the uh, driver's seat there. Now looking at the passenger seat, I really don't see any sort of imperfection or like wear or wrinkles or anything. It looks excellent. All the seat controls work as designed. We see there I can move things around. Unused vehicles always, you know, check the check the little things like the electric seat controls and stuff because that's something you might overlook when you're excited about buying the vehicle, looking at it, and then you get a few days down the road and you're like, oh, my seat doesn't adjust or this little thing doesn't work. So this is why we want to show you all these little things as if, as if you were here in person doing a thorough inspection. So whether you're here, you're here in person or not, even if you're getting the vehicle shipped to you sight on scene, uh, you'll already feel like you saw it in person and that you're very familiar with it. Looking at the door jams here, once again, it's as glossy as the outside of the car. Looking at the bottom edge of the door, the gasket, see how shiny all this is, no corrosion or chipping or anything. Looking at the passenger door card, very light, little scuff right here. But other than that, it looks to be in excellent condition everywhere else. Uh, there's a little bit of sunlight coming out now. So a little bit of shadows here and there. I apologize for that. But the dash is in excellent condition. As we take a look there, very nice wood trim. The soft open works great of the glove box. See how it dampens the movement so it doesn't just slam down. Uh, always check that as well when you're looking at a vehicle. And if we open up the factory leather pouch here, we've got a ton of factory service booklets with this car. Really all of them that came with it. There's the maintenance booklet. We've got the uh, owner's manual right here. And it's all in excellent condition. So I'll leave those down here. Uh, just for now, until I can have two hands to put these away very carefully. But all that comes with the vehicle, of course. Nice storage net right here. And the carpet condition is really nice. Even in here, in the uh, sort of little area between the kick panel and the seat that likes to accumulate things, it's all just in very nice shape. And there's no coffee stains here or anywhere over here. Like you might see the coffee sort of drips down here <laughs> over time. Uh, there's none of that in this car. Even look in the jam right there at the carpet behind the seat buckle, it's all just very, very clean. We can even hit our button here and see this works great. Both sides come up equally as quick and we've got plenty of storage in there as well. And now let's move our way over right to that driver's side. First, we'll take a look at the driver's seat and then I'll get in and we'll take a look at all the controls and fire fire the GLK 350 right up. Driver's seat is in impressive condition. I mean, other than this little spot, which I mean, these aren't really wrinkles or any damage. It's just a little bit of the waviness from there just being weight uh, in the seat. I mean, there's no, there's no imperfections or wear in the seat whatsoever. It's really quite impressive. Let's look at the driver's door card now. Of course, always check areas like this armrest. These are kind of like a high wear point you could call them where the of course anytime the car is used there's a, there's a driver in it and we can see there's a little bit of light scuffing just right there on this door panel but other than that i mean even these switches there's no wear on the switches or anything whatsoever let's take a look at the seat here all the functions are working great even the headrest there all that works awesome and a part of that premium package premium one package, you've got the uh, seat memory there for three different positions. And now looking at this door jam, the edges of the door, it all, once again, just 
really looks awesome. We'll take one final look at this stainless steel Mercedes kick panel, and we've got the factory VIN plate there. And the carpet of the uh, driver's area does look to be in good condition as well. Now let's step into the GLK. It is pretty humid out, so I'm excited to fire it up and get some AC going. We can see there are only 65,437 miles, and we have the factory key here. And we do have two factory keys with this vehicle. Let me turn down the music there. You can see it fires up without hesitation, runs and idles very smooth. We've got the AC going, of course it's on auto and it is dual zone. And if I wanna take over control, I can even do this here. We can see the screen works great, but I'm gonna put it back to auto and let it do its thing. I will turn up the temperature uh, just a little bit there so the blower isn't as loud in the microphone. But we can see here we've got the heated seats, which both work awesome. I can go through their different controls there. And all of the buttons in general, you know, there's no, there's no wear or damage or, or really anything to speak of. Even the gear lever here in the center console area, we've got our little control for some of the infotainment system here. So I can select through some of my FM stations. And let's see, I can even go adjust my bass and treble. You can see here the previous owner had that. Looks like they have it already dialed in for us, so that's beautiful. But yeah, everything works in this car. Even look at the steering wheel. Like, there's no wear or anything to really speak of it. I, I got in this car and I was really impressed. It, it, it looks like a car with, you know, less than 20,000 miles on it that had good care. It, it really does look that good on the inside. We've got the lights on auto there. Once again, the switch, there's no wear on, it, on anything. We've got some of the, I believe the fog light control there. So it's just such a impressively clean vehicle on the inside here. Lastly, to round out the interior, let's use the sunroof controls. We've got the shades there, which work very quickly and smoothly. And then we can also crack the sunroof, put it back. Everything works smoothly, no abnormal noises. And let's put the shades back there. And we can see it is automatic, one touch. Beautiful. And even all of the buttons up here and the little mirrors here, like even these, once again, I would say hi uh, contact areas where someone might be using this all the time. There's no discoloration or wear or any or any of that on these uh, sun visors. So now lastly, what we're going to do is check out the engine compartment and we'll take a look at how clean things are under the hood. Very easy, easy to just open the hood there with one hand. Has the pneumatic struts and we'll check this out now. Nice glossy finish and all the paint in there. Doesn't look like there's any, you know, witness marks on any of the bolts. All the bolts look nice and clean. Even the strut towers, look how clean the strut towers are. Sorry about the camera angle. I'm trying to get the camera exactly where we want to see things. Once again, the front edge of the hood, it looks really nice. I see little to no imperfections there. And we have the engine cover. You can look down. There's a reservoir there. Overall, just a very clean vehicle. And I do want to point out one more imperfection on this GLK. It's very hard to see uh, depending on the lighting and the angle, but there is there are a couple minor little imperfections in the sheet metal just right here on the hood. I don't even know if the camera will pick it up, but it's a couple little dings kind of in this area. And I just want to point that out uh, that they are there and they do exist, but you might have to bend down in person and try to get just the right angle uh, to see it. So that's all I have for you today on this GLK 350. View the listing on our website, alphacars.com. You can view all the information there, like the free Carfax report and the detailed high resolution images. If you have any additional questions, give us a call, 978-263-9000, and we'll be happy to talk to you. 
and even arrange shipping, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video. So even if you're not local to us, still reach out and we can work with you there. This has been Ian reporting from our Boxborough location. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe so then you don't miss out on the latest motoring content.